Hey, what's up guys? Matt here. So today, I'm gonna talk about Fight Club. So Fight Club is a movie created by David Fincher, I think it was in 1999, maybe? Maybe before, I'm not sure, I didn't do any research. But, um... All right. <laughs> so this movie has two characters in it. Edward Norton, who is the narrator, and then Tyler Durden, Brad Pitt. As you can see, that's not Brad Pitt. I just wanted to see if I could do something really cool with green screen. Hopefully it's working. If not, it'll be really, really, really funny looking. <laughs> but I wanted to talk a little bit about the movie today, give my review, give my thoughts. See if you want to go see it or if you don't want to go see it. Which, funny thing is, you can't go to the movie theater anymore because it's a really old movie and it's on DVD now and things like that. I bought it on iTunes a couple of days ago. I really wanted to watch it. So Miranda, Justin, and I watched it and we... Well, no. I, no. They left before we could finish it. So I watched it by myself. It is a really weird movie. And I'd heard there were spoilers. Um, like about the movie, I like kind of knew what was going on in the movie, but that's okay. It's it's a really old movie, so spoiler alert if you really care. But the movie starts off with the main character Tyler Durden and Edward Norton, the narrator, with Edward Norton having a gun in his mouth. And that's a really cool scene to start off a movie with because it you go back in time after the scene or after the movie's over with the with the ending of the movie you're back at that scene so it's just it's really cool I love how movies do that and I want to make movies like that so I need to learn from the best Now David Fincher he is a director that has a specific set of talents that I would say you need to watch his movies to figure out what those are because they are pretty crazy. The storylines that he has and the sets and the shots that he does are incredibly different than most directors. Edward Norton and Brad Pitt did an incredible job this movie. It was really cool how they did really everything. It, they were really good actors and well you, you come to expect that from Brad Pitt and Edward Norton. Edward Norton I think was the Hulk in a movie previous to the new movies which is crazy. Who, who doesn't want to be the Hulk? Brad Pitt as Tyler Durden is the antithesis of Edward Norton in this movie. He is his friend, he's his enemy, he's his... he is Tyler Durden compared to the narrator, which you never figured out his name until the very end of the movie. But it, the movie goes on, you're traveling through uh, the life of the narrator and Tyler Durden, who the narrator just has a boring dead-end job, and then he meets someone who has a very incredible job that he would like to have his own because he is a very boring person. So one day, Tyler and the narrator are walking out of a convenience store and Tyler says, hit me. And Edward Norton says, what? Why? And he says, hit me. So they start beating each other up, people are staring, and then it goes through kind of a time lapse of just fights after fights after fights, people coming up, getting more people, and then comes in the title of the movie, Fight Club. So it's really cool how they do this because it's an underground fighting ring where everyone just beats the crap out of each other. Now, there's a lot of blood and gore and everything like that, so it's a very interesting movie to watch. It, visually and all that, you just feel the punches when people punch each other. But you go throughout the movie, you're seeing these different things. You go to Tyler's house, which is a rundown place that's completely different than the narrator's home, which is tip-top shape, but it's immediately blown up and caught fire, so he doesn't have to live, or he can't live in his home 
the narrator. So he has to live with Tyler in this rundown apartment complex. So they're like best friends and they're doing Fight Club and then the movie goes on and then you see more and more Fight Clubs coming up in different cities, everyone knowing who they are, and then comes the helpers that are like, they're like the whoever in Ninja Turtles, the Shredder, the bad people that help Shredder. <laughs> those, those people, it's pretty much those people that have joined Fight Club and they're like cleaning up the house, they're making soap out of human fat, which that was a weird scene because they had to jump over a fence, hide from the police, steal the fat, and then the fat got caught on the barbed wire fence and it was pouring down and they were like, no, they were running away. A really good scene. You should definitely go see the entire, or watch the movie. It's, it's a really good movie. You'll have a great time, I'm sure of it. Now there is some language in it. It is rated R, I do believe, but you know, that might be another topic for another day, rated R movies. I just find them very interesting what they can do in movies and I don't really know if people actually talk like that or do that in real life it's just crazy me being a preacher's child and growing up in church and everything like that to see a rated R movie and how they talk and how they act and what they say and another topic for another day probably Matt talks coming up hopefully we'll see but then there's Marla I completely skipped the part in the beginning where Tyler I mean, the narrator is in these Alcoholics Anonymous, Narcotics Anonymous, all those kind of things because he is in a boring dead-end job and he wants to feel something but he doesn't feel anything anymore because it's so repeating every day is the same for him so he needs to get something out of life, I guess. So he goes to these places and he finds a friend, Bob, who is this very large man and they hug it out he finally cries so every day he comes hey, back uh, or every i think it's tuesday thursday I bought something the new like call that. Of duty. he goes back to see the new call bob of duty. and they cry together so he gets his feelings out and then this linear. girl shows up now this is a testicular cancer class or however you say it they're meeting and he's like why is there a woman here so story goes on Marla is everywhere, she's smoking, she's coughing, she's being loud, obnoxious, ruining his mood so he can't feel the way he wants to feel. So he finally comes up to her one day and says, hey, can we make a deal here where we go, I go one day, you go another day, and eventually they do have that, and then eventually Fight Club starts, so I'm jumping around here in the story, but Fight Club starts so he doesn't go to the meetings anymore, and Marla, which is the girl who's obnoxious, she calls him and says, where have you been? I haven't seen you. And she, he says, well, we were supposed to go on different days, weren't we? And she says, uh, I kind of cheated. So eventually they get together, kind of. Tyler and her get together, which the narrator is one person, Tyler is another, and Marla is a different person. So Tyler and Marla have are you together. And Edward North, the narrator, the just hates it because he's at his house. Thing? or she's at his house and it's just really annoying for him. But eventually the movie goes on and Tyler yeah. says not to mention him to Marla and Marla tries to talk to Edward Norton and he says, what did Tyler do? Or something along those lines and she says, what? The whole story ends up being Edward Norton is Tyler. If you look it up on the IMDB page when you're looking up the names of the actors, like their, their actual actor or the, the cast member name, like Tyler Durden is Brad Pitt and that, then Edward Norton is the narrator. He's not actually listed as an actor's na or a character's name because I was wondering what it was because I didn't remember them saying a name. But turns out he actually is Tyler Durden, which is a crazy thing because you don't see that coming the entire movie. But for me saying that, it's still a surprise, even if you watch it. Just don't think about knowing what the ending of the movie is because I'm not telling you the ending I won't tell you how it ends I'll just tell you the huge spoiler that Edward Norton is Tyler and they're the same person but I highly recommend watching Fight Club it's a great movie um, you can rent it for $3.99 on iTunes or it's probably pretty cheap going out and buying it somewhere like Target thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and I hope you liked my other person here if it works 
great. If it doesn't, I'll be over on the side the entire show. <laughs> See you guys later.